Hi everyone, I'm retired meteorologist Pat Prokop. Today is Friday, October the 4th, and relatively quiet all this week uh, weather-wise. However, still watching that system in the Caribbean Sea, Western Caribbean Sea, and the Southwestern Gulf of Mexico. Models are indicating that something might start developing out of that system. And if it does develop, looks like the name, the next name on the list is Milton. But right now we also have cloudy weather conditions across our area here. And let's take a look at the uh, radar first of all. And from across the southeast, not too much going on except around here. A little trough of low pressure near the coast is producing some showers and then more showers over in the uh, northern Gulf of Mexico, in and around Louisiana, Mississippi, and Alabama, the western portions of Florida. But let's take a look at the uh, regional radar from across our area here. And we are showing those showers. Uh, moderate uh, rain, particularly across McIntosh County, around the Darien area, stretching up into Liberty County, and then the southern tip of Chatham County, moving into western Chatham County, and in and around the Ogeechee River, southern Ogeechee River in the Bryan County area. Uh, in and around Richmond Hill. So that's sliding no northward. It looks like a little bit wet weather coming in for Friday night for the uh, eastern, at least eastern half of Chatham County. But let's look at the uh, conditions elsewhere on the uh, uh, tropics and over here, uh, tropical weather outlook, we see uh, right over here, uh, area of disturbed weather over in this region here in the Gulf of Mexico, spinning from an area uh, in extreme western portions of the Caribbean Sea. Uh, this is all part of that huge uh, Central American genre that has a broad area of low pressure circulating around this region of the world. And uh, right now there's a 50% uh, chance, I think it's, yeah, 50% chance, well, I take a look, it's, it says, uh, uh, seven day, yeah, 50% chance of development on this, but the computer models are beginning to pick up on this somewhat. Meanwhile, further off to the uh, east in the central tropical Atlantic Ocean, you have major hurricane uh, Kirk, and Kirk has winds now of 140, well, it was 145, it's dropped to 138 miles an hour gust 167 miles an hour and then further to the east of that and to the south uh, you have tropical storm leslie with uh, 63 mile an hour winds gusting up to 75 and then also you have this area of disturbed weather which could develop into another tropical cyclone right now the models aren't really too excited about this system here all right let's take a look at something else the uh, before we move on, I want to show you the power outage map uh, across our region. Currently, power outages are ongoing in the wake of Hurricane Helene. And there you can see it across uh, east central Georgia into the central Savannah River area around Augusta, stretching up into western South Carolina and, of course, into the Asheville uh, North Carolina area, then scatter outages up into the western portions of West Virginia and extreme east Tennessee and eastern Kentucky. But... Um, the, the power has been slowly coming on, as you can see here, from uh, last week into today. We're slowly seeing the power crews putting those poles back up and getting the lines put back in. So uh, the rate is uh, improving, so that, that's good news. Uh, if your power is still out, and you might well, you're not watching, but if the power is still out, uh, there's a chance that it'll be coming back fairly soon. Uh, probably last in and around this area around US 1, uh, 301 to US 1 is where the bulk of the power outages in the Georgia area uh, prevails. All right, let's take a look at the uh, satellite imagery there. We can see clouds across our region right now. Not too much going on over here in the Gulf of Mexico. Uh, the, the clouds are there, and then that p other portion of the genre that's rotating around in the uh, uh, eastern, in the western, eastern Mexico, western portions of the Caribbean Sea. Uh, and then further off to the east, there is the um, Hurricane Kirk with that 138 mile per hour wind. So you can see well defined eye, well uh, defined circulation around this storm, but it's not gonna be affecting us other than it'll be producing rip currents along the uh, Eastern coast of the United States, including the coast of Georgia and South Carolina. All right, let's take a look at the, uh, the maps right now. I wanna go into the computer models. This is the global forecast system uh, from today. And it shows that area in the western portion of the Gulf of Mexico, western portion of the Caribbean Sea, all part of this huge broad area of low pressure. Uh, and 
uh, let's put this into motion. You can see that the global forecast system is trying to put the, something together here and bringing in a tropical storm uh, in the central Gulf of Mexico along about uh, Tuesday of the, uh, the upcoming week. And uh, going in by Wednesday brings it as a moderate tropical storm, maybe even a, a minimal hurricane off the west coast of Florida into the Tampa Bay area. And then moving across the uh, peninsula of Florida and then moving out into the Atlantic Ocean. It, as you notice, it doesn't really affect Georgia and South Carolina too much. Uh, maybe a few showers uh, across the uh, areas of rain across extreme southern Georgia and across maybe coastal Georgia uh, from the system on Tuesday and Wednesday. Uh, but the winds are not much. It's going to be blustery uh, with this condition if this develops right here uh, on uh, Wednesday. So, so keep an eye on that, but no major winds like what we saw in Helene. What about the other models? The, uh, the German model, the Icon, uh, has this system uh, moving about the same way as the uh, GFS has it moving. Uh, a little bit further south, but not much, and it comes in as a perhaps a minimal hurricane into the peninsula of Florida, again, uh, between Fort Myers and uh, Tampa, uh, uh, also on Wednesday. So uh, according to these two models, Wednesday is going to be a rough day across a good portion of Florida, but again, it misses most of Georgia and South Carolina. However, still some blustery winds to be associated with it. Again, nothing, absolutely nothing like Helene. Okay, uh, the other model of interest, got two more real quick ones to look at. The uh, Canadian model, this one is different uh, today. It, it has this storm stewing in the Gulf of Mexico, just spinning around there and uh, churning up the waters. And there it is. That's all the way into not this Monday, but the following Monday, October 14th. And then it brings it toward the coast of Florida as a, well, it looks like at least a minimal hurricane. All right. Uh, that seems to be the outlier. Uh, see if the MCA, MCMWF is in yet, and uh, it is not. So I can look at the quick model here. And the quick model right here uh, shows uh, the system trying to develop. There it is. Uh, this would be on Tuesday at sunrise, and then Wednesday at sunrise. It's right, the same thing as the global forecast system and the ICON model, having it coming in somewhere around the Tampa, uh, uh, St. Pete, Petersburg area of western portions of Florida, then cutting across Orlando and into uh, Cape Canaveral, then out back into the Atlantic Ocean. Um, there, yeah, and it keeps it east and south of the coast of Georgia and South Carolina. So we're looking good there. All right, let's take a look at the. Uh, Final page, here's on my website, savannapat.name. Uh, I have the uh, tropical weather outlook over here and then the power outages. I've been uh, posting those as long as we have power outages going on across our region from the wake of Hurricane Helene. But looking at the forecast, we got clouds, that, well, obviously today and tomorrow looks like it's still more clouds, but the rain chances aren't all that high tomorrow. And then Sunday becoming partly cloudy. And then Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday uh, looks like Fair to partly cloudy, if not mostly sunny, particularly if the storm stays well to our south, which it looks like it will at this time. But, you know, you got to keep an eye on these things because if it drifts just a little bit further north, uh, we could be in for some uh, more active weather conditions. Well, anyway, I'll keep you posted right here on my Weather and Nature channel. Thanks to all those who have been supporting my channel and watching my videos as well and, and buying me a cup of coffee or giving me a super thanks. I really appreciate that. It helps keep this uh, channel up and running. So with that being said, um, see you later. Bye.